Welcome back to Cypress Academy Wicked Wi-Fi 101. In this video, I will talk about the platform directory and show you all of the important files that it holds. The word platform is our name for a development kit or a development board. Each platform directory contains the board support package, including the schematic, the Wi-Fi radio firmware, the make files required to build the project, and finally, and most importantly, platform.h and platform.c. More on these files in just a minute. I'll start by browsing the platforms directory, and you can see a bunch of subdirectories, including the BCM 943340WCD1, the BCM 943362WCD4, and so on and so on. Each directory represents one of the development kits that we support. The BCM, at the start of the name, means the older development kits that came from Broadcom. The CYW means the newer kits which are being developed at Cyprus. The numbers in general start with a 9, meaning the development kit, plus the Wi-Fi part number, plus some letters and numbers representing the type of board. Here are a few examples, a BCM 943907WA2 underscore 1. This board was built to demonstrate streaming audio. A BCM 943434WCD1, an 80211 BGN and Bluetooth combo radio board. A BCM 943362WCD1, an 80211 BGN device as well. Here's an electric imp board that Hugo Fiends, the CEO of Imp, gave me. It isn't programmable in Wicked, but it's still really cool anyway. And finally, the Particle Photon, which you program in their development environment. Now let's look in the CYW943907 AEVAL1F directory, the board support package for our kit. First, you can see there's a directory called Schematics, which contains, guess what? the schematics as a PDF, as well as pictures of the top and the bottom of the board. Platform.h is a giant mapping slash alias file. It provides you a standard set of names for you to interact with the hardware on the platform. All of the peripheral APIs in Wicked take a name of the form wicked underscore something of the other. If, for instance, you want to talk to a GPIO, it will be named wicked underscore GPIO underscore number. But what is it actually connected to? Let's take an example. On the 943907AEVAL1, there's an LED right here labeled LED1. Where is it connected? Well, let's start with the schematic. Here on the schematic, I see two user LEDs. The one at the top is labeled LED underscore one, and it says that it's attached to a signal called PWM underscore three. Now when I search for PWM underscore three, I see that it's attached to a radio module on pin A26. Okay, that makes sense. Now let's follow all of that into the platform.h file. You can open this file by double clicking it. It's just a normal C header file. At the top of the file, there's a big comment, which is just a table that shows you what is being mapped to what. A little ways down the table, I see that wicked underscore GPIO underscore 16 is connected to the PWM underscore three, and that it's SIP module A26. Okay, that's good. It matches what we saw in the schematic. The last column also tells us that it has the name wicked underscore LED1. Finally, when I search the file nearly to the bottom, I see that wicked underscore LED1 is just a pound to find for the wicked underscore GPIO underscore 16. That matches what we saw in the comment table at the top. The platform.c contains the actual structure definitions that you use to interact with wicked. For instance, on this platform, there are two I2C buses. If you search for I2C underscore one in platform.c, you will find I2C underscore one, which you can see is connected to wicked underscore GPIO underscore 48 and 49. 
and I2C2, which you can see is connected to wicked GPIO underscore 50 and 51. Then when I trace those back into platform.h and search for I2C underscore one, I can see the same comments describing their connections. The bottom line is that platform.c and platform.h are the critical files for understanding how you interact with your development kit. They are your keys to the kingdom. In the next video, we will build your first real project, the blinking LED. Remember, you can post your comments and suggestions in our Wi-Fi developer community on cypress.com, or as always, you're welcome to email me at allen underscore hawes at cypress.com or tweet me at askiotexpert. Thank you.